everybody, Mrs. K. And today we're going to make this really cute elephant. Um, there's some modifications because, you know, the more I make him, the better he is. But he's very cute. And if you blow on the straw, his trunk goes out. Now, I, like I said, um, the one we're going to make is going to work a little bit better because I've gotten better straws and stuff. But anyway, it's called our trumpeting elephant. And I think you're going to have a lot of fun making him. So um, let's get started. I'm just gonna recycle these eyes here. Okay, so we're gonna get started. You have in your kit, you have two pieces of paper. And that's all you're gonna need um, from the kit. However, you will need glue. Oh, and you also have a straw. You'll need glue a ruler and a pencil. All right, so let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take this piece of paper, the square one, you're gonna turn it like, so it's a diamond and you're gonna bring it down like that and then fold it. And then you're gonna take the bottom and you're gonna fold it up oh, however much you want just so you're gonna make a, a flat part of the elephant head. And to make sure that it stays that way, you're gonna put some glue here and glue it down and then put some glue on the second piece and glue that down, all right? And you're gonna flip him over. You're gonna follow the elephant up from the bottom, move it over about half an inch or so, and then fold. Same thing on this side, follow it up, move it over half an inch or so, and then fold. Well, that I did not make even, did I? So you can make it even and work that out like that. That's much better. If you fold it a little bit on an angle so that it's not completely straight, it looks a little bit nicer. All right, so now you have the elephant's head. Um, you can add eyes, let's add eyes later. Then you're gonna take this piece, this is the elephant's trunk, and you're gonna measure, it's four and a half inches wide. So you're gonna measure one and a half inches on either side. And you're gonna do the same thing down here. All right. And then you're going to fold like that. And then you're gonna line it up on this side. And fold. You're gonna put some glue just along the bottom. And you're gonna fold that in, okay? Just along the bottom it was. And then you're gonna take the second piece and this one you're gonna do the whole thing. Glue the whole thing, see? And fold it like that, okay? Mine's a little uneven. Then you're gonna take a marker and you're gonna make some lines so it looks like an elephant trunk. Then you're gonna take some glue again and up on top, you're gonna glue it. Oops. 
about like that, right in the middle. Okay, then on this side, you're gonna glue some eyes. In my purple glue, I always go a little crazy. What I like about the purple glue is I can see where it is, but then when it dries, it dries white. All righty. So there's my elephant's face. Take the trunk and roll it up. No glue on your hands. Roll it up. You're gonna take your straw and these we used smoothie straws. The other straws that on the one that you saw were way too small. And you're only gonna put it in a little bit. Don't put it in too far, just a little bit. And then you're gonna tape it down and you've gotta make sure you tape it really well, very, very close so that no air can get out. All right. You don't want any air getting out. And let's see if I did a good job on my elephant. Whoa, I didn't tape him down well enough. Here's a suggestion. Maybe tape him. Tape it across the top too. I, that didn't happen on the last time. So tape it across the top too so it stays on. And now, and it is a trumpeting elephant. See? And there you go. So you can roll them up really tight and he becomes a trumpeting elephant. So have a lot of fun making the elephants and uh, I'll see you again. Bye-bye.